Good day, my dear STEM students. For today, we'll be discussing all about riddles. Okay, so the Leora and the Jerome. So, what is an oxidation? An oxidation reaction may be defined uh, in the following order of complexity. Number one, a reaction which involves the combination with oxygen or the removal of hydrogen. Then letter B, uh, second condition, the reaction which involves an increase in oxidation number becoming more positive or less negative. And then number three, a reaction which involves the loss of electrons during the complete transfer of electron or a shift of shared electron. So while reduction, it can be classified in the following order of complexity. Number one, a reaction in which involves combination of hydrogen or removal of oxygen. Naman. And then letter B, a reaction which involves a decrease in oxidation number becoming less positive or more negative. And then letter C, a reaction which involves gain of electrons during the complete transfer of electrons. So these are the different uh, the difference between reduction and oxidation. Okay, the key reactant in a redox reaction. So take note, the key reactant. So we are dealing with in identifying the substances that is being oxidized and reduced. Okay, so we are dealing with the reactants of a given chemical uh, equation. Okay, the main reactant in a redox reaction are the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. Okay, so the reactant, take note, the reactant that carries the atom or element oxidized is the reducing agent. So the whole uh, chemical substance is the reducing agent in that carries the element or the atom that is being oxidized. While the reactant that carries the atom or element is uh, the reduced element and it is called the oxidizing agent. There is a uh, helpful nomenclature in identifying this part. What is the substance being oxidized? What is, the, what is the oxidizing agent or the reducing agent? We will use this uh, nomenclature, Leora and Jeroa, where in Leora stands for the loss of electron, that is the oxidation, and that is the reducing agent also. So the reactant, the whole chemical formula is the reducing agent, while the individual uh, element uh, within that particular uh, formula is the oxidized substance. Next, the Jeroa or the gain of electron or reduction and then that is the oxidation agent. Okay, so, you will use this in identifying those four uh, 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 four substances. Okay? Next. So, let us now practice how to identify the following. So, in this lesson, you will be able to identify the given uh, redox reaction or the non-redox reaction. You can now you will learn how to identify if the given reaction is a redox or a non-redox one. Then assign oxidation number in individual atoms or element. Then identify the reducing agent in each redox reaction and the oxidizing agent of a redox reaction. Okay. So, an oxidation number, assign oxidation number to all atoms in the following uh, equation. So, the first thing to do is to assign, if you are you were given uh, this particular type of uh, chemical equation, the first thing to do to identify which substance is oxidized, reduced, or the, the reducing agent or the oxidizing agent, you have to assign first uh, oxidation number in each individual element. So in our pre previous topic, I already discussed how to uh, uh, identify oxidation number of each given element. Your periodic table is a helpful tool in assigning oxidation number. Okay, so you must simply. Okay, so let us analyze what uh, type of compound is present in this given equation. So in the first uh, chemical formula, which is nitric acid, this is the formula for nitric acid. We call this a ternary compound. And then followed by super dioxide. This is the binary molecular compound. Yields uh, sulfuric acid, a ternary compound also. And a binary molecular compound for nitrogen dioxide. Okay, so in assigning oxidation number, you can use your periodic table in assigning oxidation number for a ternary compound. So we have here nitrogen. 
So a hydrogen rather, hydrogen belongs to group 1A. So therefore, a hydrogen atom has a positive 1 uh, oxidation number. Then, dito muna kayo doon sa pangatlong element. So, uh, we all know that oxygen belongs to uh, group 6A. So, all group 6A element has an oxidation number of negative 2. And then, yung middle element, you know now how to assign oxidation number. Okay, how to compute and solve for x natin. So, this, since this is uh, a neutral compound, uh, all neutral compound the sum of the oxidation number is always equal to zero. So, you have to compute for the oxidation number of the middle element. Okay. So, for nitrogen, that is positive 5. So, internally compound in assigning oxidation number, if there are three elements involved and there is a middle element, uh, you will not be using this uh, rule in your periodic table in assigning oxidation number. You have to compute algebraically, the oxidation number of the middle element, okay? So, in binary molecular compound, so the oxygen is always negative 2, and then compute for the first element, let uh, this one will be x, okay? So, sulfur is positive 4, okay? So, in this formula. And then hydrogen is positive 1, oxygen is negative 2, and then sulfur is positive 6. So take note, as you can see, in the binary molecular compound, sulfur here is positive 4 and internally is positive 6. So it depends upon how to, how you will compute for the oxidation number. Basta yung pag-follow doon sa rule using your periodic table is only applicable to ternary compound in the elements found at the in first and last element. But in the middle element, you have to solve that algebraically. And then lastly, so nitrogen dioxide, this is a binary molecular compound. Oxygen is always negative 2 and nitrogen is positive 4. So that is the oxidation number of all the elements found in this chemical equation. Okay, so uh, we call this the number line. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the uh, numbers written here are oxidation number so, when oxidation number decreases, it gains electron. Tatandaan niyo yan. So, nag -de decrease siya. From positive 7 papunta sa negative 3, uh, it decreases. Okay? Oxidation number decreases. But, as it decreases, it gains electron. So, uh, wag niyo isipin yung uh, sa algebra na positive and negative numbers. Isipin niyo kapag positive siya, naglulose siya na electron. Kapag negative siya, Nagiging more negative siya, nagiging siya ng electron. Then, while as the oxidation number increases, so from negative 3 to positive 7, the oxidation number increases, but this time, there is a loss of electron kasi nagiging more positive siya. So, laging iisipin uh, sa chemistry, kapag nagiging pag, pag positive ang charge niya or oxidation number, uh, therefore, that is the indication that that particular element loses electron. So, kung ang element is negative, so it is an indicator, the, the negative sign is the indicator uh, that that particular element uh, gained electrons. Okay? So, in our given example a while ago, so let us analyze uh, what element uh, loses or gains electron. Okay? Let us analyze. For hydrogen, hydrogen in the reactant side is positive 1, but in the product side, it's also positive 1. So, there is no change in the uh, electron gain or loss. So, walang problema doon. Then, the next element, ulit tayo sa reactant. So, look at nitrogen. The oxidation number of nitrogen in the reactant side is uh, positive 5. Then, punta kayo sa product. Naging ang nitrogen is, in nitrogen dioxide, naging positive 4 ang kanyang oxidation number. So, from positive 5 to positive 4, there is one electron gain. So, kung titignan nyo yung number line niya, dito sa left side, tignan nyo yung positive 5 na punta sa positive 4. So, umaba siya. So, kapag nag-decrease ang oxidation number, it gains electron. So, ilan ang nag-gain niya? From positive 5, ilan yung dinaba niya? It's only 1. So, therefore, the the electron gain is 1. Then next, 
Doon ulit tayo sa reactant side. So, ang next natin is oxygen to sa nitric acid. It is negative 2. Pagating sa product side, oxygen is also negative 2. So, there is no loss in gain of electron. So, next, sulfur. Sa reactant side, sulfur dioxide, the oxidation number of sulfur is positive 4. Pero pagdating doon sa product side, sulfur become positive 6. So, from positive 4 to positive 6, if you will look at the number line, doon sa positive 4 sa paba, pumunta siya sa positive 6. So, there is an increase in oxidation number. So, if there is an increase in oxidation number, so ilan in increase niya? From 4, 5, and then 6. There is 2 electron loss. Okay? Kasi nag-increase ang kanyang oxidation number from 4, 4 to 6. So, increase of oxidation number indicates electron loss. So, uh, from positive 4 to positive 6, there is 2 electron loss. This is how to identify uh, which substance gains or loses electron. Pag sinabi natin substance, uh, it, it is either compound or an element. Okay, then take note, the presence of element that has a change in oxidation number in the equation is an indication that the reaction is indeed a redox reaction. Kung meron kayong chemical uh, reaction at wala kayong nakitang change in oxidation number, therefore, that particular reaction is a non-redox reaction. Non-redox reaction. Kapag walang nag-loss and walang nag-gain ng electron during chemical change, uh, there is uh, that particular uh, uh, reaction is a non-redox reaction. Pero pag may nakita kayong nag-loss, mayroong nag-gain ng electron doon sa equation ninyo, that is definitely a redox reaction. Ganun mag-identify kung ang equation is redox or non-redox. Okay, next. Okay. So, in this, uh, the reactant that carries the atom or element oxidized is called the reducing agent. The reactant that carries the atom or element reduced is called the oxidizing agent. Okay? So, you now you will now uh, use the two nomenclature, Leora and Jeroa, in identifying the reduced substance or the oxidized substance, and then the oxidizing agent, and the reducing agent. Okay. Since meron na kayong inassign na oxidation number, madali nang ma-identify alin ba ang na-oxidized, alin ang na-reduced, alin substance ang reducing agent, at anong substance ang oxidizing agent. So, in our first uh, example, identify the substance reduced and oxidized and the reducing and oxidizing agent in this given chemical equation. Okay. So, if we're going to analyze loss of electron, ano ba yung sino ba yung nag-loss of electron based on sa ating equation? So, ang nag-loss ng electron is sulfur. Therefore, sulfur is oxidized. Kasi kung sino nag-loss of uh, electron, that is the substance being oxidized due to the loss of two electron. So, kung sino yung na-oxidize, kung ano yung kasama niya doon sa chemical formula, since sulfur is oxidized due to the loss of two electron, how to identify naman the reducing agent? Itignan natin, the reactant that carries the atom or the element oxidized is called the reducing agent. So, ano ba yung substance that carries sulfur in the reactant? So, that is sulfur dioxide. So, therefore, sulfur dioxide is the reducing agent. Okay? Then, followed by Jeroa, gain of electron. So, yung reduced substance. So, sino ba yung nag-gain dito? So, ang nag-gain dito is from positive 5, naging positive 4. There is one electron gained. So, nitro then is reduced. And then, Take note, the reactant that carries the atom or element reduced. Okay, so nitrogen is the reduced element. So ano ba doon sa reactant ang nandoon ang nitrogen? Sino ba yung nag-carry na compound? Sino ba yung may dala ng nitrogen na yun? So ang nagdala ng nitrogen na yun is nitric acid. Therefore, nitric acid is your oxidizing agent. Okay? 
So if there's any question, just leave your comment in our comment box. And then stay safe, uh, stay healthy. God bless everybody. Thank you.